Welcome, 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 welcome. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, welcome to Wizworks YouTube channel. Today we are going to talk about finding and integers factors. And this will help you in the Qudarat because it is a very easy tip and trick. Uh, there are actually going to be five tips and tricks of, of finding uh, integers factors. So stick along and let's find out what they are. So let's start by tip number one. An integer is divisible by 2 if it ends in an even number. So let's give an example for a better understanding. So an example is, let's say 26. 26 is divisible by 2. So why is it divisible by 2? Because 6 is an even number. And it ends in an even number, meaning it is divisible by 2. Let's move on to tip and trick number 2. So, an integer is divisible by 3 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 3. So, how is that? Let's give an example. So, we can say that 42 is divisible by 3. Why is that? Because 4 plus 2 is equal to 6, and 6 is divisible by 3. So with that, we can infer that 24 is divisible by 3. Let's move on to tip number 3, or trick number 3. So... An integer is divisible by 5 if it ends in 0 or 5. Pretty simple. This one's pretty simple. So let's give an example. Let's give an example. So let's say the number... Hmm, let's think. Let's say the number 3,330. Uh, take a moment and think. Is this divisible by 5? Yes, if you said yes, it's correct. It is divisible by 5. Why is it divisible by 5? Because it ends in the number 0. Let's give another example. 75. Is 75 divisible by 5? Yes, because it ends in 5. Let's move on to trick number 4. Okay. Trick number 4. So an integer is divisible by the number 9 if the sum of its digits is divisible by 9. So let's give an example. What, does, what is what I said just mean? We have to give an example for better understanding. So let's say 297. Is 297 divisible by 9? Take a moment and either put X or check. If you said check, you are correct. It is divisible by 9. Why? Because 2 plus 9 plus 7 is equivalent to 18. And 9 times 2 is equivalent to 18, which makes 18 divisible by 9. Let's move on to our final trick. Yes, our final trick. It's only five tricks. So trick number five, our fifth and final tip. If an integer is divisible by 10, it ends in zero. Simple, right? Let's give an example. So let's say, for example, 20,330. Put a check or an X. Do you think this number is divisible by 10? If you put a check, you are correct. The reason it is divisible by 10 is because it ends in 0. And it's as simple as that. Let's give another example. Let's say 200. Is 200 divisible by 10? Yes, because it ends in 0. And so forth. And this concludes our video 
of finding an integers factors, which is a shortcut that helps you during the Qudrat exam. Thank you so much for watching the video. Please don't forget to leave a thumbs up, subscribe, and share.